don't want to stay too long either. It's good. Biscuit is coming on. You got a party yeah. tonight? Are we biscuit us? No, you have. You said. No, I've got family down. So. Oh, right. Okay, family, not party. Sorry. No, no. Don't do parties very often. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that one. Yeah. Oh. I keep in anyway. You're right. Oh, I am. My freaking legs are pissing me off. Basically. Yeah. Just really getting me down a bit, but I'm all right. You know, don't worry about it. You get out and about taking some more photographs? Oh, yeah. Well, no, not really. It's been fucking pissing down. <laughs> fucking yesterday, oh, God, yeah, this storm. But the lightning was not good enough. It wasn't in the right place to uh... take photos. So I couldn't take any photos of the lightning. But, uh, oh, God, it was coming down. Like, if I would have went to the car... I would. It's like jumping in a in a in a swimming pool, you know. Yeah. It was coming out so it was bouncing up further faster than it was coming down. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I had the, all this, yeah. and the wind was coming straight from the south, southwest, straight into the front of the house. And yeah, I heard all this fucking hail like that. You yeah, know? we did hailstones. We didn't have any thunder and lightning, but uh, hailstones, yeah. snow, rain, wind. Yeah, real big little bar, big little bastards. It's a contradiction, isn't it? Big little bastards. Yeah, <laughs> there's a name for that, isn't there? When you use, you use something which is contrary to what it really is, yeah, you're it's a contradiction in terms, but it's very expressive, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Same old, same old, then, Con, isn't it? Keep going, mate. Yeah. Well, I had fun doing the last Silver Surfers. That was a good one, that. Yeah. Did you see it? To, did I send it to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So I saw it this oh. afternoon. Spoke to um, Tom Fisher today, and uh, he's off to um, the surfing competition, longboard surfing competition. Oh, in, yeah. Cat, no. Um, Portugal? Capricas? No. He, um, Me Mexico. Oh, yeah. The West Coast. The West Coast. Baja. Oh, wow. Be nice. Yeah, he's, he's reckoning it'll be his last one now. Yeah. Give it he's, all, give it all. But he had, he's done his back in, which is... He says it's really good. Oh, we've all done yeah. it. I said, make sure you take your flag with you. Yeah, bloody right. <laughs> oh, but, uh, well, I'll check it out. Is it a WSL one? Or is it just... Uh... Well, I think it's a, I think it's the world champion one, yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll check it out. And uh, mm. see if we can get him up on the... Uh... On a three men. Ah, oh, that's nice coffee, man. God, I've had a long day today. I didn't get to sleep last night. Too much I coffee? Was, no, <laughs> I, was, I was working. And I didn't didn't see the time go by, you know. You know what it's like. You just, you're just into it. What are you doing? Yeah. And I was doing a lot of um, preparation work, basically. Uh, preparing a load of characters uh, to get my all my aliens right, you know, mm. and making them look a bit better in the cutouts and everything on the PNG. And um, I found a lovely, a great new page with great some new great new characters. So I'm gonna uh, gonna be working with those a little bit. How long before we see those, Con? Oh, it'd be maybe in two weeks, something like that. You know. Maybe a week, two weeks. We've got one or two in there tonight, uh, in the last one. Mm. But um, I, I just trying to think up um, situations, you know. <laughs> you know, it just, it, sometimes the stuff has nothing to do with the uh, the the sort yeah. of surface chat, you know. But it doesn't really matter, does it? You know, it's yeah. just the, you know the it's just the aliens and the surface, and it just makes me. It makes me laugh, really, sometimes, because they've all got their own names and characters, you know? Yeah. It's just like, it's, uh, it's like I'm writing a book with them, you know, sort of thing. It's really funny. Yeah. So how, <laughs> how did how did your, um, your secret meeting with uh, Primo go? Oh, great, 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 great. Uh, you'll see the results this week. Jolly good. Probably tomorrow, I think, yeah. Check out the Langland page tomorrow and see the results of it. I can't yeah. tell you about it because it's. Yeah. Well, it's better not to you anyway, better to see when it happens. Ah, uh, yeah, right. But it's, it's quite funny. 
Yeah, we're trying to wait now for the weather to break so we can get these um, discs up onto the uh, post. Mm. I've got to do a... Because for Isle of Langland now, I've got uh, over 10... We, we passed 10,000 um, yeah. subscriptions. Yeah. members. So uh, we're going to do it. Mike, Mike saw it. I didn't even see it. I thought, bloody hell. I thought we were around about eight and a half, nine thousand, you know. When I saw it was ten thousand, I thought, bloody hell, woof. Wow. Sometimes it it hits at that critical mass and then it, it, it explodes after that. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. But anyway, so I've got to do a, a well done, everybody, you sort of thing, and that's me great. So I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant into doing a video of it. Or just a, a still photo with a commentary on it, you know, like that. a meme or a meme yeah. or whatever they call them. I think I'll probably do something like a surfing one or something like that. Or something involved with everybody in Langland with dog walkers and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's enough going on for Pete to um, mm. have something going on about it. Mm. I've been a bit busy this week to be on uh, social media. I haven't really been on it at all. I've been down. Yeah. Very, I just posted about two photos up, I think, of the moon. I oh, might not have even done that. Maybe not. Because so little photo opportunities is ridiculous. You know. well, the good weather's coming, Con. Uh, bloody hell, I hope so, because I'm, I'm, I'm missing the stars at the moment. And we just, you know, it's, it's good that it's all raining. Let it rain now. That's the best time for it to rain. In a month's time, if it doesn't rain and it stays clear skies, I'll be happy because it looks like a lucky way to see it. We start to see the core and everything. I love it. Look, guys, I don't know if you, if you follow the links from uh, is a Welsh photography or something, or it's a, it's a group. Anyway, uh, Welsh Dark Skies. You know, I saw there's another group who, who do a lot of um, sky photography. Yeah. And they done a few of the Milky Way over Worm's Head. Mm -hmm. Some really good shots. Yeah. I'll, um, when, I come, when I see it coming up again, I'll send you the links. You can look yeah, at no, their page and uh, see what they do. It's a really nice one. I'm lose somewhere, I think. Hang on a second. Uh, where is that? Uh, hang on a sec. Give up finish now. Uh, 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 uh. Where's it gone? The bloody photo. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to find it. Welsh. Uh... Hang on. The screen. Uh... Yeah, Welsh landscape. Ah, right, yeah. And seascapes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the ones. Well, that's one I did, you know. That's when you did. How long does it take to do something like that, Con? Um, this one was quite easy actually, because I just had cause it's a daylight shot, you know. Yeah. And then you got to darken everything up and get it all blended in. It was a good good day's work on that, you know. Yeah. Uh, I I think it turned out quite nice that one. It was quite nice. Mike, um, how do I get? How do I send you a link? Uh, quite easily. Hang on a second. Where you Where you going now? It's not sharing. All right, there we are. Uh, we just uh, uh, what on Facebook? Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, click on the photo or whatever it is, and cut and click click right on the photo, and it should say uh, link. Get yeah, something like that. Joined invite features reels about photo feeling. What's that one say? Um, <laughs> I'm in the group, so I could. Or just uh, put it in Messenger, you know, just just uh, share. Oh, yeah, okay. Share, then give it your options in a private message. Oh, friends, and, yeah. 
and then send it to me or Silver Surfers, one or the other. In Welsh landscape, Welsh landscapes or landscapes? It's called uh, Welsh landscapes and yeah. seascapes. Mm. Uh, I'm in a, a, a world one. If, 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 if you just type that in, Welsh, well, I don't know, will he find it? Welsh landscapes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, places. easily. Yeah. Hang on a second. A lot of it's just, you know, it's not all night sky, but um, you do get some. Uh, but a few of the northern lights came up. A couple of weeks back. Yeah, nice one. Well, I missed out. I was going to... Like you do. Landscapes, isn't it? Um, I wasn't yeah. going to get up that sort of three o'clock in the morning stuff. I couldn't be doing it. That's landscapes and ski shapes. I got it. Yeah. Here it is. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah, the one with the worm. The one for those worms and sunset. Mm. And it's got the little bridge over Barmouth. It's all sorts of Welsh ponies. All right, yeah, I see it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got the page. It's all right. Cool. No, again, he picked her and get some, uh, I said, some really nice seascapes. And yeah, yeah. You, you have a look at the um, Welsh Dark Skies page. Wow, that's, there's some. Uh, Bloody it's good getting stuff. really annoying now because the campaigning for the dark skies and it comes, it can put in bloody lights up everywhere. Mm, that's ridiculous. Like, then one half that comes and don't know what the other half are doing. Mm. And then people take no regard of um, planning and they say, oh, you're not allowed to have any lights outside your house. <laughs> no, I just put lights outside my house. No one's going to stop me. And I, up they go. Yeah. You know, the police say, say, so they just I, go. I had nothing worse than that because when one time I was I was living somewhere and a neighbour, and they had one of these um, terrace lights, you know, mm. and they'd leave the terrace light on. I mean, oh my god, and, you, you know, it, it's ridiculous. You can't believe how much pollution there is up on those little terrace oh, lights. Yeah. You know? yeah, it's on there, but I haven't got. You think it's turning off just because it costs electricity, but uh, yeah, no, people forget, people... don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'm advanced with my uh, endeavours with the, the drone at the moment. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I really need a drone. Do I really need a drone? This is it. Well, that's expensive if you're not going to use it a lot. I'm not going to use it a lot. I know that. And I might get bored with it after about a week or two. But then again, it might be good for some certain things. But with my legs, I can't get about too much, you know. So. Yeah. And if it's uh, 12 megapixels? No, no, more than that. 4K, 4K video. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm talking about just photo quality. Yeah, I think I think it's tw 8, 18 megabits. Uh, okay. Well, that's not too bad. The thing mm. is, you could need print to that quality. And it's, you know, it's, it's more yeah. than most printers will ever do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's going to have a huge post on your wall. <laughs> you know. Yeah. And the new ones, you know, like my new camera, it's 25 megabits. I yeah, think, well, I got, yeah, I use them. One of my Nikons is 25. The other one is 20. Another one is 16. Uh, P P900 is 16 megabits. Megapixels. Yeah. The trouble is then, you got, it's just using a massive amount of memory in the computer and the cards. Yeah. A big cards, yeah. big cards, a big storage one. Got to, got to, you know, uh, when you take in um, full frame ones, they're 36 megabytes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you're talking like 60, between 60 and 100 mega MO for a photo, one photo, mm -hmm. you know. You know, I go out and do a shoot of about 50 photos and it's almost three gig, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Is that when you, is that when you take in? What do you call it? Stacking? Yeah, yeah, but I'm shooting in RAW as well. Yeah. You know, it's all in RAW because I uh, basically don't use anything else now. Bloody brilliant RAW. I love it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, my, well, obviously my son does all that, but um, he said, for what I do, he said, unless you're going to start doing post um, op- um, post production stuff, he said, you know, there's no need. No, no. Just for, take the quality photos, and that's just, you know, like just for making it, putting it on computer or on a telephone, you know, stuff like that. That's all you need. You don't need anything bigger than that. Uh, I'm doing a lot of reduction work at the moment. I'm trying to take it right. Um, you got a photo that starts off real big, you know. Mm. I'm trying to take it right down to real small because my little figures, you know, all the people. Because mm. if you don't change the pixels in it and everything and do it gradually, you lose definition. Yeah. I uh, and piss it because you haven't got the the original is not enough, hasn't got enough pixels in it. You're really playing with um, with fire doing it because uh, you, you take it down, you just increase the pixels, reduce the size, just increase the pixels, and you can only go so far with with pixels, you know, because then it just gets like um, fuzzy. Yeah. What um, what program do you use then? Photoshop. Yeah. I was looking at that, but I thought I, I too expensive. What I really needed. Seemed like a good idea at the time to buy one, but um, what? Unless you can get one, you know, back to old copy, you're all right. What Photoshop? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Everything is possible. I'll send you a link. Well, it's quite easy to get. Yeah. Because mm. my my son put a Sony one on. I was using that for a while. Then it, it Vegas. Like, oh. Is it Vegas you're using or? Nothing at all. Mm. I was just using a Sony one, but I went went because it was a freebie, and uh, after a month it disappears. I thought I can't be asked to pay for that. Oh, I'll get you set up with I'll get you set up with Photoshop, but I'm using on on editing video. I'm using Vegas, but I'm mm. using a paid version now with Vegas because I got so pissed off with this um, the the crack version was okay. But you know you can't do you can't develop it more than a certain limit. Yeah. Now I got the paid. It's easy in to make you want to pay then, don't I? Yeah. Well, this is it now. But I I paid. I'm not paying per month. You know, I paid mm. a certain. I paid. I think it was about. It was a bargain. It was a special offer from Sony Vegas or from Vegas. Mm. And I think it was about 150 for the license for yeah. lifetime, a lifetime license. You yeah. know. I thought, well, that's bloody bargain, girl. Why is you paying like 15 quid a month or something like yeah. that? And that gets expensive after a couple of years, isn't it? Same with Photoshop. Like, Photoshop is so bloody expensive. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that's the trouble. Unless you're using it professionally all the time, you never get your money's worth mm. out of it. Mm. I've got uh, the 22 version, I think. 2022 version. I, I could update it, I suppose. I, I can't be really bothered. It's working well now, so when it's working well, don't touch it. It's like a car, isn't it? <coughs> well, I got um, like an old. I use a very old copy of AutoCAD, but um, the trouble is, the new computers won't run the old copies of AutoCAD. You have to buy a new copy of AutoCAD. You know. Ah, uh, yeah. But, well, this is it now, isn't it? All the all the logicians have changed to the side to the speed of the computers and everything like that. And the older older versions won't work at all, will they? I, I've got files yeah. from Windows is it Windows Seven or something like that. <laughs> you won't get much of that now, will you? No, you won't get it. Uh, not getting much out of it at all. You know, you like you know, no, no, don't want anything to do with this. Thank you very much. You know. Oh, yeah, okay. Cool. Ruby. Ruby. Hey, man, hello. <laughs> That's, it's really funny how he brings, you know, just him and uh, just it comes out really, uh, just him on the screen, you know, it all goes yeah. blurred all around. It's really good, that. That's a good idea, that. Nice one. How old is he now? That's Aubrey. That's a she and she's... Oh, it is Aubrey now. Hey, nine months. Hmm. You're almost walking out, tidy. I know. She's uh, going to just not go for She doesn't crawl. She just wants to walk. So she'll probably end up just walking. 
My no, son's right. coming. Well, we've got to go and see my son sometime. His his little boy is um must be eight, ten weeks now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Kipper family is getting bigger and bigger by day. I know. Got to, got to get a skateboard or a surfer or one of them. Yeah, right. Yeah, bloody right. Because Robin, who just came in now, uh, Aubrey's daddy, he's a surfer. Yeah. And John's a skateboarder, so between one of them, there'll be a <laughs> skateboarder or a surfer. Yeah, tidy. No, it's not a bad thing, is it? Yeah. Gives you a good life, I tell you that. Keeps you, uh, keeps you relatively safe or fetish. Well, yeah, my son was doing it, and he, good for him, he stopped doing it before he broke all the bones in his body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, skateboarding, yeah. Yeah, it's skateboarding is a disaster, man. I'm still paying for that, you know. Yeah, I got one fixed. My this shoulder here is all fixed up now. Yeah. Of course, I'm goofy for this, so I'm landing on every time you fall, you land on the same same shoulder, same yeah, arm, same leg. You know, yeah. gets gets it first, like gets the gets the hit, and then oh god, you don't. And when you're younger, you don't realize it. You know, oh, it's just a bump, you know, broke or oh, broken collarbone, or oh, it's nothing. It'll heal. Heals in three months, and you're back at it, like you know, great. Okay. Not even three months. Well, the thing was, he, you know, he was good, but it was, and he was professional, but they weren't paying any money in those days. You just got a bag of, you know, skateboards and wheels and, you know, hoodies yeah. and, which when he when he's sort of fifteen or sixteen, is great. Yeah. But really, the guys would go right. Can you just do that jump once more? Can you do it off the next step up? You know, can you do yeah, that? Yeah, really yeah, yeah. Come on, just one more. Can yeah. you just do another rail and kick flip? Yeah. Oh, you I know? love that one. Yeah. He crashed out about five times before he got it right. Mm -hmm. And not that one. You've got to be battered and bruised and mm. you know, half broken. And still smiling because you're on camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, didn't yeah. hurt. Oh, shit. I'll try yeah. it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I think it's better now, obviously, with um, like young girl who <laughs> won the skateboarding championships. Mm. Huh? That young. Was she this, that young girl who. Um, oh, Sky from, Brown. She came. What's her name? Sky Brown. Sky Brown, was it? Did she come yeah. third, first or second or what? I don't know. I think she come third, did she, or something like that? I don't know. She did pretty good. Oh, in Tokyo? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's on telly the night. And, uh... Yeah, bloody hell. Uh, she's, uh, she's basically surfing more now. She's surfing for Great Britain in... Um... She was surfing for Great Britain in the ISA Championship, so yeah. it's just on, yeah. Now uh, we're in Puerto Rico. Nice too. Yeah. Was it was it big money when you were doing it, Con? No, God no. No, no we got about a bit, you know. But uh, yeah, we did. We got no, the world no, no, the bank account was never in uh, good state, you know, because you you get about a bit, and you do get sometimes you get some pocket money, uh, mm. but you know you always get a lot of stuff. So yeah. uh, you can always sell uh, some of the stuff, you know, so uh, yeah. you can make your money that way. Or, um, or and then you just you've got to use your own money a bit, you know, because uh, sometimes you just don't get anything, you know. It all depends. I know we went to uh, Italy one time, and that was a bargain one, because we got paid for it. Mm. And we had a contest, and it was money to win in the contest as well. Which I won two of the two of the events, which is great. And all the hotels were super nice. We were down in the Lido yeah. de Jeslo, not far away from Venice. Then we went up to Milan for a big contest and the ice they built a big skate park and the ice skating ring. All of the wood. It was. It was bloody huge. You know, about ten foot of vertical on one of the ramps. It was it was scary, man. Yeah. But uh, that was quite a good trip. That yeah, that was a bargain. Mm -hmm. That was with uh, was it was it Rolling Thunder in uh, London. They uh, they wanted they had to get a team together, so they invited me, which is quite nice of them. Excellent. The thing is now, like all sports, it's just dominated by half a dozen big names. Okay. Well, it's, it's is that, isn't it, you know. So the, you know, it, it's not open anymore as it used to be because. You've got to be supported to get to all the competition. Mm. And unless you've got a sponsor from a big name, you know, you just can't afford to do it. No, no, you can't. You know, and this is, this is what pisses me off with Britain, basically, because, you know, it's still, they, 
Britain still treats surfing like, you know, a bunch of hippies. So I, mm. It's still that attitude. I can see it from outside. I can see it. Yeah. And it, was, it, it, it seems to me it hasn't advanced since when I was surfing, you know? Like British uh, Welsh team, for example, mm. uh, you know, say having a GoFundMe to send some of the surfers yeah. to the World Contest or, or to a European Contest, you know? I mean, what the fuck is that, man? You know? Yeah. And the English team's got it well done, you know? They're all... They're all they're rolling in it basically, but um, that's always pissed me off. You know, is that uh, there isn't the same backup as you got in Australia, for example. Mm. You know, you got the uh, you know, we got clubs in Britain, but it's not the same thing. You know, but there it's you, you start off at five years old, and you, oh, yeah. and you, the the end goal is to win the world contest. <laughs> you know, and it's a real, it's a real goal for them. You know, they're all, they're all going to be world champions. You know, yeah. And that's the way they think. That's the way they surf. You know, and and it's a good, it's a good way to do it. And I, I was, I was in the psychology of surfing and all that. I, um, when I was going for the world titles, you know, I, I, if I had, if I didn't think I wasn't going to win it, it wasn't worth me being there. Yeah. So for me. I was so pissed off when I didn't win it. Mm. <laughs> you know, it was a big yeah. deception sort of thing. Yeah. It was a big downfall for me, that was. But, uh, yeah, but it's the psychology of it. you got to get away from the little town, little village psychology and see the huge, big, big, big open spaces sort of thing, you know. My trouble is most, most sports in the UK are, are, are amateur sports until you get right up there to the very, very top. Yeah, you know most. You know even even recently now the the women football teams that they still work and play play on the weekends. You know mm. only now they started to become professional and get paid for it. Yeah, you and know they, the men have been paid for quite some time, but even then it was a long time before they got paid they, properly and supported. Yeah, I tell you what, I prefer watching women's football and I do men. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, it's so much better. Yeah. I've seen some of those clips on Facebook where <laughs> you know, they don't really like go with each other, kicking the living daily, so they oh, just get God, up and yeah. carry on. <laughs> and then they show yeah. you the men, you know, they don't even kick the other guy, and the guy's on the floor rolling and down. Yeah, and right, like, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. There's some good ones on YouTube with that, you know, doing comparisons sort of thing. And the women are there, and you can pass it, pulls her hair, I could I get know. down, no bitch. You, know, they, you see them coming off the pitch, there's blood coming out of their noses. Yeah, and, you right. know. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, mamby -pamby, it's, 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 it's not mamby pamby at all, is it? And they yeah. can kick a ball, bloody hell. <gasps> it, it just seems to be uh, obviously they don't play, well, they, they do play aggressively, but they play more ta more tactful football. <laughs> they it, it's more sorted out, isn't know. it? You know, yeah, you know, it's not, uh, it's not kick and rush sort of thing, yeah. Definitely a better paced game mm. of football. Yeah. Seems to be more action in it. Uh, uh, ISS in five minutes. I don't think we're going to see anything up here tonight. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it might be a bit of clear sky tonight, actually. Just well, we, had a, we had a severe weather warning came on again today. Oh, <laughs> I talked to rain, about it. More bloody. It's like rain and rain. Yeah. <laughs> we heard, we heard, didn't get a warning here, yeah, but it, get a warning for up north in this day, you know, up by Brestway. Mm. And uh, all of a sudden, this is about four, four or five days ago, when that storm went over, it was yeah. up the way, and we got the tail end of it. And I'm sitting here, and all of a sudden, there's this big boom, bam, zoo, boom, 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 crash, crash, crash out on the terrace. I thought, what the fuck was that? So I went outside, and there's, there's all the furniture that was on the ter terrace. There's none there at all now. Yeah. And then, and this guy, and, the, and the, the owner had this big green box with all his plants in it, and that's vanished. It all vanished. Mm. So, so I, and it was pissing down with rain, and it was howling, and there were things flying about. They were, and then one of the blinds fell off the top of the house. You know, the shutters fell off. One of the shutters broke off, and it came crashing down. No, the hole in the paving, paving slabs. I oh, thought, fuck, it's like World War Three out there. So I, I just put my head over the parapet a little bit. 
over the trench, over the edge of the trench, and then saw that the chair was down the road, across the road, about 200 yards away. So I thought, well, I better go and try and get that before it vanishes. So I got that, and by the time I got back, I was soaking wet. And it was like he dodging fucking bits of this and that. It was really strong wind, you know, really, really funny. Yeah, it's just unexpected to come that quickly. You usually get a warning, and then you stand a chance of putting stuff down. Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 normally I take the stuff in, you know, and because uh, we've already, I, I've got a huge, well, now I'm down to one chair now, one terrace chair, because the, the settee or the the two places, the two-seater, there's one of them plastic things, you know, the foam plastic, fake, something or other, and that flew off in the storm before last, a flu and and that's a huge thing, you know, it's two seats. Mm-hmm. And it's just it's so wide and big. And that flew about three hundred yards down the road and I picked it up and in pieces basically. Yeah. So I, I I got to take and and it took with it one of the other chairs as well, because uh, I I didn't even see the storm come in. It just the real yeah. surprise one. And that's not normal for me. I usually see them. And uh so they took the chair as well. So that so I got one half of the settee. That's okay with the leg side, you know, and one half of a chair. And luckily enough, the, both are damaged or um, are opposite, you know. So I can put one. I can put the side of the chair on the settee to get the settee back to being able to be sitting on it again. So that's I'm just waiting for a sunny day now, just to mm-hmm. get out on the terrace and just do a little bit of work on it like that. But it's not yeah. worth it at the moment. It's just so fucking wet and windy and just yuck. And it was really nice this afternoon. It was sunny for about half an hour. And you could really, really feel the warmth of the sun, you know? Yeah, if you get someone where it's sheltered from the wind, it's really mm. warm. But yeah. there was that wind blowing again today. And you think, oh, oh, God, yeah. two jackets and a woolly hat on. <laughs> Whose coats are those jackets? <laughs> <laughs> About time we got rid of them, but um, it's not quite warm enough, Con. It's no, I know, yeah. Blood no. of hours, you know. Yeah. Gotta keep warm, mate. Bloody right. Only two, right. I hate being cold. I bloody hate it. I really do. Uh, that was the experience. First time I went, I went to the mountains, you know, in, um, in Germany. God, I've never been so bloody cold in all my life. It's cold, yeah. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, I I I'd never been there. Nobody told me about it or anything. You know, I didn't didn't even do any looking up or what it's going to be like or anything. So I got there. I mean, shorts and flip flops and t shirt. <laughs> I remember saying the other week. Yeah, <laughs> and a, uh, down. the only shoes I had was a pair of Vans and a pair of Levi's. You know, that was the the warm clothing. You know, it was a pair of Vans and what? My mm. feet were fucking freezing, freezing, freezing all the time. And the toes gone. Huh? Hammers on the toes, like you said. Oh, worse than that, man. It was just like, yeah, oh, I couldn't feel your feet in the end. And it's really funny. Cause it was like minus 19, minus 18 in the nights, you know? Mm. And we used to, when we were, we were doing gigs there, and one time I had to leave the van outside with all the stuff in the material. Well, they, they took the guitars out, obviously, and the instruments and all that. But uh, all the material was left in there. And what you don't think about is the cables become rigid, solid. I know, and yeah, you know, and you go and they go and the guys in when we get to where we go and the guys said, "Oh, don't, 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 don't hold them, leave them, leave them up, leave them warm up," because you just snap yeah. the cable in half, like you know. Yeah. It was I so remember. cold, I couldn't believe it. I'd never seen that. But the first house we bought many years ago, it was it was cold winter. We moved in in winter time, and that went. Went in the house to see what was going on. The electrician had all the big cables <laughs> up his jumper. I said, What are you doing? I probably said, If I don't get them warm, he said, I'll never get them to bend around the corners and into the holes. He said, It'd be like poking metal rods. He said, You've got to get the cables warmed up before I can use them. Yeah. Yeah, you don't think about that until you, yeah. until you actually see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a poor yeah. showing for everyone. It's Sam's birthday today as well. Yeah, I can't remember if I sent him a... The trouble is that there's been a few birthdays today or catching up with birthdays, and I don't know if I sent him a bloody happy birthday message. Is there any way of finding out? Um, 
Okay, you can go onto his page and scroll yeah, through everything. He's, he's, got, he's got quite a few on his page. I was trying to find some men. Yeah. I I'm queued up a little um, Stargazer video for him as well. All oh, right. Uh, I shot a couple of videos of uh, Stargazer on uh, YouTube. Yeah, we missed the um, that Elon Musk. What do you call it? What's that thing he's got? What? Elon Musk's SpaceX. Train. Huh? His satellite, his train of satellite. Oh, yeah, it? Starlink, yeah. Yeah, I haven't. It was up the other night and we missed it. Oh, they just stick a camera up in the sky and just leave it, you know. And How often does it come through? Oh, they're all over the place, man. They're everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Fine on us. Yeah, they're everywhere, man. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're going to finish up with about 45,000 of them. Yeah. Well, this is, this is good and bad and everything, isn't it? You know, like, I think it was the month before last, or maybe before that, there was, like, good, uh, a good month of it, and uh, they sent out about five loads of satellites and 90 satellites each, you know, in each load. Mm. You know, it's, it's amazing. It, uh, and they said they were going to put uh, anti-reflective paint on them, and uh, I haven't seen much of that. But uh, lately, I, I've only had a few shots with them. Because it was one time, it was just like, uh, oh, there were trains of them everywhere, you know? Mm -hmm. And I had one shot with about, I don't know, about 14 of them in it, you know? Just in a 30-second in a, in a shot. I was mm -hmm. shooting at 30 seconds. And it just, like, lines all over the fucking place on it, you know? It's like, like a grid map, you know? <laughs> but it changed from when we were younger, Connor. You see the odd satellite, but now it's you got to look up for I don't know, ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah, well, you got two oh, flying over. That you can, well, you can't see the Japanese one now because the Japanese one was visible for a while uh, a couple of months ago. You know, you can't see that now. But uh, now we're getting back into um, ISS territory, and all, of course, all the. There's a lot of other ones as well. Yeah. Some bigger than others, some faster and some slower than others as well. Yeah, we've it's got less than a minute left, Carl. Time yeah, flies. Uh, yeah, well, could, so. I could I'll have to go off this time because I've got all, all the right, time. Yeah. So, uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to, I'll just hang around. I'll just keep Facebook open. Yeah. And just see if anybody gives me a bell on that. And I'll just leave a little note on Facebook saying, you know. Yeah, well, have a good yeah. week, Carl. Yeah, you too, man. Right, nice you talking, Kev. It's, it's good yeah, to yeah, talk nice to the two of us sometimes, and that's great. Yeah. Lovely, very interesting. Mm. <laughs> I say, oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Well, well All right, then. Nice come on. Yeah, look after yourself, man. I'll see you yeah. soon. Okay. You look after those legs, Con. The only pay you've got, mate. I will do, yeah. Fucking <laughs> bloody right. Oh, God. Don't talk to me about my legs. Don't talk to me about legs. <laughs> Oh, okay. You've got paint everywhere I have to, but uh, you just...